Welcome back, and today we're going to talk about something that I never shut up about, and that's sleeping pads. But first, you know the drill. Click that subscribe button. Click notifications. If you want to know when we do our live streams, we do them like all the time. Check out the uh, the merch store if you want some sweet merch. Check out our podcast. We got a lot of things going on, a lot of ways to see some of the extra behind the scenes stuff, see us rant on live streams. It's all out there, check it out. So today we are gonna answer the age old question of Thermarest versus Nemo. Uh, which one do I like better? Which ones have I used? We're gonna compare, contrast them, talk about things like weight, price, comfortability, Andy's favorite word, packability, durability. I've used a bunch of these different pads. We are going to compare, contrast, and talk about which ones I like more. I have used six different sleeping pads over the last 10 years. I've used two Nemos and I've used four Thermarests. So I've used, I started with a Thermarest Base Camp. I made my way up to a Thermarest Neo Air. Uh, I bought a Thermarest Neo Air X Therm, and the newest Thermarest pad is the Thermarest Topo Lux. So I currently only have the Topo Lux and the X Therm. I'm not a psycho. I don't own six sleeping pads. Nemo, I've tried the Nemo Astro and the Nemo Tensor. So I've tried six of these sleeping pads. So I'm gonna kind of use that as a basis for comparing and contrasting them. First category, and one that a lot of people will care about is price. In general, Nemo pads tend to be a little bit cheaper than Thermarest pads. So Nemo gets the winner here. When you're looking at something like an uninsulated Nemo Tensor and the uh, the Thermarest Neo Air is not insulated, you can get a Nemo Tensor uninsulated 130, 140, 150 bucks versus like 180, 190 for a Thermarest pad. So the Thermarest pads tend to be a little bit more expensive. And then when you get into things like the Thermarest X Therm, I mean, that's a $250 plus pad. They get really expensive when you get up into the super, super warm Thermarest pads. What I will say is you can pick up a Nemo Tensor insulated and it won't be as warm as a Thermarest X Therm, but it's probably going to be suitable for most people's winter backpacking. And you can get a Nemo Tensor insulated for like 160, 170, 180 versus an X Therm is 250. So on the super cold end, for most people, you can look at a, a Nemo pad and, and it's gonna be significantly cheaper than a super, super warm Thermarest pad. Next category is weight. And once again, I'm probably gonna give this to Nemo. And the reason being, Nemo pads are constructed out of a thinner denier nylon. So when you're looking at fabric types, uh, they, they use this term called denier, like you've seen like 10D, 20D, 30D. It's a measurement of thickness of the actual fabric. So Nemo pads, at least the Astro and the Tensor, they're made out of a 20D uh, nylon and Thermarest pads are made out of a 30D nylon. Now, when we get to the durability aspect of this, that takes a different term, but in terms of like raw weight, Tensor pads, Nemo pads tend to be a little bit lighter than Thermarest pads. And a quick comparison is you can get a regular Tensor insulated pad, and that's going to be almost the same exact weight as a Thermarest Neo Air uninsulated pad. So you can kind of see the payoff with the Denny Air, the, the, the Nemo pads, they're just a little bit lighter. The next category might arguably be the most important and that is comfort. And if you've watched anything on this channel, you know that Andy and I always say invest in sleep. There is nothing worse than going out backpacking, doing a multi-night thing and getting just horrible sleep. You won't recover very well. You won't be able to hike as easily the next day. So we are like invest in sleep, invest in sleep. So you could argue that the comfort category is probably the most important. Something to know about me, I am like a 90% of the time a side sleeper. So what's comfortable for me might not be what's comfortable for you. 
the vast majority of people that sleep on the ground spend at least a little bit of time on their sides. I think I saw a stat like 70% of people that sleep on the ground are gonna end up on their side at some point. So side sleeping is important to me. Side sleeping, you just need a bigger pad. I mean, your hip is gonna dig into the ground. You need a thicker pad. That's why I got into the four inch pads. So if we look at the four inch pads, the Nemo Astro versus the Thermarest Topo Lux, those are both four inch pads. I will give the edge to the Thermarest Topo Lux. It's slightly more comfortable, I think, than the Nemo Astro. The Nemo Astro has a built-in pillow into it, which at first I thought was cool, but it kind of ended up just being a little bit annoying because I bring my own pillow, so I don't really need one there, and it kind of like fidgeted around. Um, it made my pillow kind of move around on the, like the little pillow pop-up that's part of the pad. So in terms of four inch pads, I'm gonna give the edge to the Topo Lux. Now, something that was very surprising to me was I just assumed a four inch pad is gonna be more comfortable than a three inch pad. Don't make that assumption. What I have to do with a four inch pad is a four inch pad fully inflated, it's too much, it's too stiff for me. I like a little bit of plushness. So what I have to do with the Topo Lux is I have to fully inflate that pad and then reduce a little bit of air volume out of it so you kind of sink into the pad more. I don't need to do that with these three inch pads. I'm still playing with, hey, what's the optimal amount of air in a four inch pad to get me the most comfortable night on my side? A three inch pad, I don't need to do that. So if you just look at all six of these pads I've used, the one that's the most comfortable without having to tweak, adjust anything, it is the Nemo Tensor. And I know so many people that use the Nemo Tensor. Bryce has used it, Dan Becker's used it, Andy's used it. The, the morning after, whenever I pull people, I'm like, hey, hey, how was it? Everyone says the Nemo Tensor is like the most comfortable pad. And some of that also has to do with the fact that the 20 denier fabric is a little bit softer. It's not as rigid and hard as the Thermarest 30D. The, the 20D fabric on the Nemo is, um, it's just, it's more comfortable on your skin. Additionally, and this is not something we're gonna get into, but the Nemo pads don't make any noise when you roll around on them. That might be like a huge deal to some people because some of those Thermarest pads, as a lot of people know, they're really loud when you sleep on them. So comfort right out of the box. I'm going to give Nemo a slight edge there, but I will say in terms of a four inch pad, I do like the Thermarest Topo Lux more than the Nemo Astro, but most people don't need a, th a four inch pad. Let's quickly talk about packability. That might be a concern for some people and it goes hand in hand with weight. The Nemo pads are slightly more packable than the Thermarest pads. That has to do with the fact that the 20D fabric is a thinner fabric and it just packs down a little bit easier. The Thermarest pads are super packable. We're kind of splitting hairs here. They're both gonna take up about the size of a Nalgene, but I do find the Nemo pads do pack down a little bit smaller. Let's talk about durability. And this is something that I think matters because if you're out on a multi-day trip, a sleeping pad is one of those things where if your sleeping pad goes, especially if it's cold, that's a potential trip ender. So durability does matter. This one's going to Thermarest, mainly because they use a thicker fabric than Nemo. They've got that 30D and you can feel it. I mean, when you see these two side by side, you can feel like the, the Thermarest almost feels like a canvasy fabric and the Nemo feels like a, like a thin, like almost a, it's made out of the same material, a 20D nylon that a tarp's made, a tarp can be made out of. So Thermarest gets the edge here. I will say I've used Thermarest pads for almost 10 years. I've never popped one. I've popped a Nemo pad. Now, I don't necessarily know if that the, if that's the Nemo pads fault, I was setting this thing up in the winter and oh my God, by the way, there is no worse feeling than laying down, it's 20 degrees outside, getting all comfy in your sleeping sleeping bag and you hear that pop, pss, and it's, it's the worst feeling ever. So I did that to my Nemo. Uh, there was kind of like a, a root sticking up out of the ground and when I put my weight on the pad, the root poked through the Nemo and it, it tore like a half inch tear in that pad. Now, I patched that pad with a piece of tenacious tape and 
that pad, because I've used it and I've, bar I've lent it out to people, I've gone about 20 nights with that patch on there and not had a single problem. So while the Nemo did get a hole in it, I patched it with Tenacious Tape and I've never had an issue with it. So, you know, does it matter that it got a hole? I don't know if you can patch it and use it 20 more times without an issue, maybe it doesn't. But durability is gonna go to Thermarest. They're just heavier, they have a thicker nylon. And also Thermarest, um, their products are guaranteed for life. I don't know if Nemo's are, I'll put it up on the screen if they are, they might be, but Thermarest pad, you break it, doesn't matter, send it back, they'll send you a new one. Made in the USA lifetime warranty so that edge goes to thermo rest last category and i think this one's actually important some people don't but i want to talk about ease of filling up and that's where you get into these pump sacks and the valves and i think this does make a difference because at the end of a long day hiking blowing up a pad sucks and these these pads do not they're not equal the thermo rest topo lux valve system is the best valve and and pump sack system I've ever used on a sleeping pad. Couple reasons. One, the Topo Lux has two valves on it. It has an inlet valve and an outlet valve. Couple the couple things that does. One, for a four inch pad, when you get on it and you need to take a little air out of it, which you might need to do with the four inch pad, you just kind of unscrew that valve and a little air comes out and you're all good. The Nemo Astro and the Nemo Tensor use like more of like a standard like pop open valve. So bleeding air out of them is difficult. Next, the pump stack, I have it here. The pump stack for the Nemo pads, it's the same for each pad and I am not a fan of it, okay? It's just like, it's super skinny and it's really hard to fill up. You're supposed to blow into this to fill it up. Like the, the, this is too, really too skinny to like pull air in. And it just, it's just kind of a pain to deal with. Now the Thermarest pump sack is great. It's bigger. It's got a super wide opening up top. You can scoop air, air into it and you know, do your thing. So ease of filling, the Thermarest crushes it. Now, the Topo Lux, I believe, is the only new pad that has that double valve system, but even the old Thermarest pads have a pretty good workable valve system that's easy to modulate, letting air in and letting air out. So, Thermarest wins that category. That is it for this little comparison. You know, buy whatever pad you think you might need. I will say, like, out of these six pads, if I just had to grab one and go and not worry about it, I'd probably take the Nemo Tensor. Even though it's a pain to fill up, it's super comfortable, it's super light. I have the insulated version, which is good down to like 25 degrees. It's very comfortable. So I'm trying to work with the Topo Lux. I do think a four inch pad is the way to go if you're a side sleeper, but once again, I gotta play with how much air is in there. And it's kind of annoying to do and I'm just, I'm still dialing in that pad and it is a little heavier and a little bigger and it's not as warm as the Tensor. So gun to my head, I'm taking the Tensor right now, but I, I think the four inch pad is gonna be the way to go. I'm just still trying to deal with uh, letting the optimal amount of air out. That is it. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.